The feud's been going on for days. As Ben Hutchison reports, neither side is backing down. When my employee, he came outside and he told him, move around, he pushed one of my employee. And my employee fired back, but a wing, he stabbed him with a knife. Ali Dara manages Stark Foods at 13th and Atkinson. He says Wink is a homeless man who constantly hangs around their business. Video surveillance didn't capture the incident, but shows Wink stumbling around, an officer helping him. Because of that incident, King Rick and the Black Panthers started to boycott the business. What we need to do as a black community, make sure that no one beats on our women, our children, and our elderly. That's why we're here. The two sides have a history. The store admits it financially supported the Black Panthers in the past, but when it stopped paying, the tension began. We give them a lot of money, a lot of food, but I want to make sure that money and food go for the community, not for them. King Rick says his group does use its money to help the community, not to profit itself. If they're talking about extortion and we're going to shut them down for their lies and innuendos, they have given donations to the complete community. Stark Foods served the Black Panthers with a restraining order Tuesday, but King Rick says that won't stop them. The only way we would stop boycotting is if the, the store and the employee was held accountable and Wink wanted us to. In Milwaukee, Ben Hutchison, WISN 12 News.